here. So here we are with uh, Don Givens, middleweight Eamon O'Kane. Eamon, you, uh, we've had a bit of excitement in, in and out of the ring today. It looked like that streaker was trying to run and grab a hold of you, was it? Uh, not me, I think it was McCluskey or... Or, uh, or, <laughs> or maybe Frampton. Frampton. Uh, you know, yeah. so, um, I don't know, it's the first time for everything else I've got to say. <laughs> it, it wasn't so long ago we caught up with you. It was o just over in Sheffield a couple of weeks ago. You had a, a nice six, six rounds under your belt. It's good to be back in the ring, I suppose, after, a, you know, not a massive period out of the ring. But you've got price fighter coming up it's closing down it's only three weeks away how's preparations going for you things are going very well and uh, i'm really looking forward to competition we've pulled it all the stops and trying to get to get to get prepared properly for price fighters if you can do that and uh i'm really looking forward to it so no i'm bringing yeah. it on three weeks today so can't wait yeah I, preparations are obviously coming on you spoke you're in you're in the middle of your sparring now. Yeah. Is, are you getting, how, what sort of guys are you picking in? Are you kind of picking guys to say he kind of is, as his style, or is it just any guys? I just kind of got to get a variety. Uh, uh, a good variety is what it is, but the, the ones that are going to give me as hard a time as possible so that I'm prepared as best as I can for coming to prize fighters. So, no, it's a good variety of sparring, and uh, some of the sparring I had with George Goes in previous, and yeah. some of the other stuff will stand me in good stead, and the fight that I've had recently will hopefully stand me in good stead as well. Obviously, uh, a, a local compatriot of yours, McCloskey, he's, got, he's had a change of opponent. Do you think he's, he's a very strong willed person anyway? Do you think that'll have any effect on, uh, on, on his mindset? I don't think it'll make a difference to Paul. He, he, was, he was training and preparing, he's got enough time now. It's a good three and a half, four weeks to prepare for Demarcus Corley. And uh, this, up, to, up to this stage now, we're, we're getting himself to a uh, peak fitness. I'm sure his barn now is just obviously either started or, or it's uh, was just started. So yeah. this is the time that he, you do want to hold it at your opponent. Yeah. So no, and definitely, it's, I don't think it'll make a difference to him. And Paul's a professional character anyway, and dealing with it and taking it straight. Yeah. All right, well, listen, thanks for another catch up with you. And uh, I'm saying probably the next time we see you is at the, at the way in for the, uh, for the prize fighter. Yeah. And you can quash some rumours out there at the moment. There is no injuries. No injuries. That was the first I heard it off you tonight. And <laughs> everybody else seems to be coming up and asking me, so no. Listen, keep spreading it if you want. No. I'm going to be there come the 5th of May, so I can't wait. Nothing's going to keep you away. Nothing, nothing. Great. All right, listen, thanks very much for talking to us. Cheers.